Chris Budden, thank you. And from Colonial Life Arena, this is the SEC on ESPN here in the Mid-State. A major matchup with one week remaining in the regular season. Number 24, Florida. Number 18, South Carolina. Both with nothing finesse this year about the Gamecocks. Students are on spring break here at South Carolina, but it hasn't dampened the enthusiasm here in this building. They are rocking and ready to go for this noon tip. Florida coming off of a closer than expected game against Missouri on Wednesday in which, in which Tyree Samuel took over the double-double. Their bigs are a big part of their team. South Carolina coming off of a last-second win Wednesday on the road at Texas A&M. They got a game-winning layup with three seconds left. Team pretty good at home. Folks that have not watched South Carolina play a lot, they are outstanding at guarding theirs, guarding the ball, forcing turnovers, and pounding away on that defensive glass. In an early takeaway, here's Michi Johnson into the paint with a dish. Murray Boyles, local kid does good, has been red hot lately. By its backcourt, Poland and Walter Clayton Jr. Zion Poland. Came to the Gators from UC Riverside. His pull-up will roll home. First bucket for Florida nearly three minutes in. Yeah, if you're much quicker, they're top 30 in the country and getting up and down the floor. Pulling from the elbow. Got it. Going to have to make him today. You're going to have to make those. His team in white. And just count the number of passes in this game that South Carolina passes more than they bounce the ball. And this is one of them. Red, red. Gators are bringing a big double on Murray Boyles every time he gets a block touch. Jacoby Wright. Hey! Tom, to my point, I, I think there was seven or eight. Mon had an interesting take about what they do defensively. He said, listen, teams have, I don't know, four or five of their favorite plays. Why do they run them? They run them because they work. So sometimes, right back to back. Opportunity so far in this game. Gamecocks have hit back to back threes to take a six point lead. Now Florida stepping up on the defensive end. Zachary Davis with the mid range. Did it not? Yep. Florida has missed its last four opportunities. Poland got off balance, but still got the bucket, and he's going to the line. Tied for third in school history at 23 consecutive double-figure scoring games. Man, that's that is a winning number at every level. The ball control for Florida is otherworldly when you factor in their tempo. Right and one. He's got eight early. He's looking for his ninth. Yeah, Florida's, a, uh, they are sleepily cool that time. Nowhere in the picture. Percent. Tyree Samuel coming off a double-double. Florida looks slow on the defensive end and hesitant on the offensive end. No hesitation for Thomas Howe. Google gives Florida 10 points a game, a starter last year and early this season. Great effort on the offensive glass. That can be a difference maker for Florida. Points or more four times this Ooh. year. And a lot of people have already predetermined Zach Eady to be the national player of the year. I, I say hold the vote and let this thing play out because Dalton Connect wow. has to be right there in the conversation with S5. Kugel out to Howe. Better pass maybe would have gotten him a look and now Kugel yeah. with the return. Really good job by Kugel to drive, shrink the defense, kick it out. Florida with another great defensive effort. That was all dribbling, no passing by the Gamecocks on that possession and Florida just ate it up. Samuel passes out of the double to Kugel, shares it again, and here come the Gators. Thomas Houck and Floyd. Johnson missed the layup. Kugel dishes. Richard in the lane, another extra pass, and Samuel gets challenged into a short miss. A share from a foot away, and Samuel got it! Wow. He's going to the free throw line. 10 against Mizzou on Wednesday night. And he's got a three-point. There's a back cup, but it's covered up. Murray Boyles gets stuck. Shot clock's at six. Right with five, oh, and he's man. able to draw the foul. That's charged to match up. Here's right at the free throw line. 
ranked Alabama in a loaded SEC, Jimmy. You could have a six-way tie for the conference title. Yeah. Yet as of today, Joe Lenardi only has seven teams in. And Tennessee is still in search of possibly being a one seed in that NCAA tournament. Their, their schedule strength in front of them, if they were to win, there's no way you don't put Tennessee on that one seed. They got four consecutive games against top 20 teams to end the regular season. Toughest stretch in school history. Yeah. And they've been playing for a while. And Thomas, how that you're watching in college basketball right now. They're not on that line with UConn and different teams that there's one and two seeds, but they can beat those teams when they're at their best. Another foul on consecutive Florida possessions. That one's charged to the freshman from New Oxford, Pennsylvania, Thomas Height in Nashville at that SEC tournament legitimately. Because of Carolina's defensive intensity and their tempo. Zion Poland with the crossover on Cooper. Fade away from 15, goes in and out. Richard is there, another offensive board. But it's blocked by Murray Boyles. Gamecocks haven't made a field goal in nearly seven minutes, but they've been fouled on three consecutive trips. That's the first on Poland. In Lamont, Tom, you asked me earlier, this game is actually coming for Davis. Coming off of a career-high 16. He got his first start against Arkansas. With my this match with Murray Boyles. Clayton gives it right back to Samuel. Tried to scoop a reverse on the freshman. Shot clock late. Blocked this time. And another putback denied. Here comes Carolina looking for momentum. Cooper. Skip pass in a drive, and Carolina will keep it moving. Now Cooper again. Three ball good. It all started with the initial reverse of the back. And you got five other teams reaching for that same goal with only a week left in the season. Every possession matters. Every possession is magnified. Samuel That's downhill. Good action. That's really good action now. That timeout by Todd Golden. Transferred in from Seton Hall. He's going to shoot another. If the first one doesn't go in, get back inside. 13 boards and four blocks in the overtime win at Ruff. Florida's played in a ton of close games this season, including three overtime contests. That's great action. And Michi Johnson off the curl finishes with a layup. Yeah, they really wrapped those off-ball screens at that high elbow area, Tom, as well as anybody in this league. Shoulder to shoulder, friction coming off. Offensive rebound and a putback for Florida. Thomas Houck again. Line of South Carolina. On those inside baskets, that roll action on the offensive glass, it's not easy to do. Johnson, another drive. Great pump fake. He got Houck in the air. Good, good play by play call by. He's got three. Work since about 7.15. And he's the NBA Finals 2018 lost to Golden State. LeBron has numerous times showed his support for offensive. Whoa. Blocking foul. I thought third in the country at right at 40%. And top floor to front line. Oh, it is sizable and it is deep. They yeah. can run waves of 6'10 to 7 footers at you. They bring a double on Mac and Murray Boyles is there. What a pass by Mac. Throws a fastball from about 10 feet away. Great soft pause by Colin Murray Boyle. First lead for South Carolina since it was 14 to 12. Poland penetrates. 10 footer good. What they. Gators the other way. Clayton with the hard bounce. Nice pivot. Wow, Tom, how good was the pivot for a freshman through Koger Center last night? Instead of Hamilton, nice move by the 6'11 freshman from Perth, Australia. Clayton stop, pop, drop. Wow, what a huge three for his first bucket and the Gators on a 7 nothing run. If you fall asleep in Florida's conversion offense, Clayton will just dial it up. Your pickup point has to be a step or two higher than normal. A three answered from Jacoby Wright. Pulls it out. Clayton nearly walked with it when he took that pass. And Carolina clean up this miss if there is one. Four on the shot clock. Clayton for three. Another big one. one. There's not one. How about Walter Clayton 
If you are lazy and low at all off of a ball screen, he is going to fire that three. Mack has it blocked by hand locks in the end the half. What an effort by Walter Clayton Jr. Two late threes. And at Maui several years ago, and that's exactly the, the DNA and how Lamont coaches the game. 17 seasons as an assistant coach, including back-to-back -back Final Fours with Wisconsin in 14 and 15. Florida trying to take this game over in the paint. The denial on what... He's got to show up in his second half. This kid right here with the ball. Trying to take advantage of a mismatch. Now he gets doubled. Mack out to Cooper. Pull up three. Good. Tough shot, but a really good run. By Created a little bit of space. Murray Boyles didn't like it. Neither did the home crowd. Pullen got a bump from Cooper. Muscles his way in and drew the foul. It's number two on Talon Cooper. Feels like a football game. Inside 15 feet of the Sweet 16. I think the SEC's got a handful of teams capable. Talon Cooper, fourth in career assist among active players in NCAA basketball. And Mack had to go through his hands and right to Murray Boyles. Well, that's a good kind of whiff. And for this freshman from right here in Columbia, spent one year at high school, had an impact on his lift and his explosiveness. But Lamont both for a freshman, but now he understands how to use that big body of his. When Lamont Paris got hired, he was one of the first guys to go see in the recruiting process. Wow, what a roll. Hey, Tom, that was a power roll and a finesse finish by Samuel. Very difficult to pull off. Michi Johnson with the dish. Mack got two Gators in the air and finishes. Now, B.J. Mack also wants to shoot. Another bump on a drive there. Physical Cooper with the strip. Shoving in midcourt between Samuel and Murray Boyles and the foul at the bucket and they'll count it. Wow. The mat after the first four minutes started punching back and and turns it over. Careless, aren't they? Carolina, careless. Poland has oh, wow. a wedge into the rim and they'll count it. Goaltending and the foul. They'll look at it. They call goaltending. We'll have a chance to review it when we step away. Speed push, ball goes up. I think it's the right call. Johnson shares it, and they back it out. That side's really impacting. Seven-one hand locked, and now Cooper drives on him. Has to kick it out for three. Good, Jacoby Wright. Though it's shutting off the rim, understanding the wood is your friend as an interior defender. Three the other way. That one's good. Walter Clayton Jr. hit two. Just late to Clayton. Johnson with a 17 footer. That's Barry. Very similar games. You know what bothers you? Do that to the guy you're guarding. Clayton from deep. Got to get him off of him. Got to get him off of him. I mean, Lamont Paris saying the same thing. Gators have made each of their last three. Here's Poland downhill. A bump from Cooper. And that's the third personal on Talon Cooper. Zion Poland makes the first. Poland four seasons at UC River. Try to power through it. And Clayton pulls down the rebound. Um, he's a below the rim guy and length really bothers him on those rim shots. Oh, Alex Condon. An advantage if he's hitting his threes and yeah. get those bigs away from the basket. It hasn't been the case today. Shot clock at six. H.E. Johnson off the window. One of the very rare straight line. Poland trying to find some space and will go to the free throw line. Florida's middle ball screen action. On time, on target play call by <laughs> our bar, our expectations are not quite as high. Carolina trying to chip away at this double digit deficit. Michi Johnson with a mismatch with the seven footer on him. Boom! Drilled the three. 
Well, he was in here. But yeah. Well, you got something. <laughs> Clayton left his feet, still able to get it to Condon. And then a foul inside on Josh Gray, which is his second on the South Carolina big. Four of six from deep. Here's Alex Condon, freshman from Perth, Australia. In Australia before coming to Gainesville. He's got six. He's got Florida with a comfortable lead in what has turned into a quiet arena this afternoon. Here's Gray working on Condon. And he fouled him. Josh Gray's first bucket, much needed for Carolina. He'll go to the free throw line. At the free throw line. Senior from Brooklyn. Davis dumps it in to Murray Boyle. Shot clock at five. Power move, and with the left, his strong hand, he'll go to the line. He has gone 65% from the strike. One more coming. College Duncan and Ralph Sampson. And finally, fourth ranked Tennessee. Dougal trapped in the corner, and it's taken away. Here comes Cooper, and now Davis, and it's blocked away. Will Richard, the eraser, Florida the other way with nine to play. Kugel spins and banks it in. An incredible recovery for Florida. And a timeout for the Gators. Davis with a long pass inside to Gray, who shares it to Davis. Pardon me to Jacoby Wright. Gray cleans up, and he got fouled on a touch from behind. It's a third from Mike from LSU. He said, we need him to contribute. The passing game. When does he run 23 skidoo? <laughs> There's Murray Boyles fouled inside by hand locked in, and that is suddenly the fourth on the Florida big. Murray Boyles at the free throw line. Can buzzer beat her a few years ago in the SOCON tournament. Title. Looking for their second in school history in the SEC. Another near turnover. Shot clock's a five against that zone. Here's Poland. Got a key screen. Oh. And he saved it. Wow. Zion Poland saves a bill play to be made. There have been about five monster possessions that could dictate the end of this game throughout the second half. There is the fourth on Han Logton from Kugel yep. and then got it back after a great defensive effort and hit a big bucket. Mm. Behind Michi Johnson. Caroline hasn't made a bucket in four and a half minutes. Johnson got the foul. He identified that early in the possession. Players or we've got a bad coach. And I know who I am as a another one for Michi Johnson. He's got 14 right at corner three short. Carolina will push it up to Zachary Davis. That time he's like 29% this year is Will Richard. Runner from Murray Boyles. What a play for the first year freshman. Handoff blown up, stolen by Davis. Three on two. Michi Johnson from deep. Murray Boyles has it blocked, and they get Kugel. Another one coming for Colin Murray Boyles. That explosiveness back. It is there, and it is. Has Florida route. Kugel wanted the lob. They didn't go for it. Stolen again by Davis. Talon Cooper pulls it out. Stay aggressive right now if you're South Carolina, right? You got the mojo working. Johnson battling his way inside. Wow. Carolina in front. It's Michi Johnson. By time, score, and momentum, South Carolina needs to stay aggressive. Another floater in the foot to make. It's a, like a guard floater. Cooper cut off. Now they leave him alone, and he buries the three pointer. His third three. Carolina back in front. You've got to screen Zachary Davis and get him off the ball. You can't let 12 continue to completely disrupt what you're trying to do offensively. Wow. Clayton an with three. What an answer by Clayton. Trying to stake their claim as the SEC's best. 
in a fight for the regular season title with one week to play. Johnson, two ball, good. He's got 18. Carolina leads by a deuce. Poland penetrates and turns it over. Three on one. Cooper blocked! And the recovery is good. The effort is wasted defensively because it's cleaned up by me. Seven turnovers in the second half by Florida is a big, big number when South Carolina's only turned it over twice. Shot clock's at four. Mack lets it fly. Murray Boyle's kept it alive. And a timeout asked for across the end line. It will be Florida basketball. No matter. I like screening the top right now, Tommy. You got to knock Zach Davis out of the play. Results in a corner three from yes. Google. He, you know, he drew that up in the last timeout, but couldn't get to it yes. for two possessions. But to my point, you screen. Murray Boyles with his first career double double today. Johnson into the paint. Got it! There have been a lot of tough twos in this game that you got to take and make. Man, what a game again in the SEC on Saturday. Bone kicks it out. A Clayton three is good. And we are tied at 74. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Freshman Murray Boyles. Ten on the shot clock. Tie game. Five on the shot clock. Michi Johnson! Timeout! Our team in the country. Gators have hit ten threes. They opt for the two and are denied at the rim. And then a foul from Tyree Samuel, his third. In the half, Florida is still without an offensive rebound here in the second. Murray Boyles has been money. Last in this league. Ball into Samuel, gets it right back. They want to get something quick. Here's Clayton for three. Rebounded by Florida. First offensive rebound of the half, but it's kicked back to Carolina, and the shot clock is off. Houck is on the floor to offer a foul. They beat it by pushing ahead to Davis, and Murray Boyles stepped Why? on the inline. line, turned it over with 18 and a half left, and he may be hurt. Kugel in the far corner. Clayton has a quick release. He lost it on the crossover, but they get Murray Boyles for the foul. Pressure on South Carolina to close it out. Ninth in the out. If they get hung up and can't get the ball in, and everybody has to know it. They get it in immediately, and a quick whistle will send Jacoby right to the free throw line. I, I want to go back how smart that was. As soon as we finish here, and that's you. Coming up next. Right goes one of two. Gators down four. Carolina can't foul. Clayton wants to shoot the three. Got Murray Boyles in the air. And he didn't pull the whistle. He got the block. South Carolina will try to milk it away with 2.1 remaining. We'll learn from it going forward. And South Carolina picked 14 three-point shooter. Davis. Flashes it down. It's a six-point lead with two to play. Kugel will float it up there and find nothing. And South Carolina, another ranked win here at home. In 82 to 76 final, they are down 10 in the second half. The zone turned this entire thing around. It did in the belief in Lamont Paris and his guys. This team has played with a chip. Lamont has coached with a chip. Better than anybody else in college basketball. The SEC coach of the year is Lamont Paris. He should be right there in the conversation for the night.